Shiny! <laughs> what the hell? I already have the previous form of this thing. <laughs> Level 41. Ooh, do I hit this thing? Oh god. I just walked over here, and it's just kind of sitting here. Could They should have given me the bird. Why am I getting so much shiny luck? Ah, crap. So I guess I don't need to evolve my shiny skidoo anymore. Please just go in. I have an episode to make. Thank you. <laughs> what the? Well, I caught a shiny on a video. Finally. <laughs> Every other one wasn't. Oh my god. That's the first time I had a good goat too, isn't it? I like it's shiny. It's nice. It actually changes color. Unlike a lot of others. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> okay, alright. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> I know a few people that are going to be mad that I got another one of those. <laughs> what the... What is happening, dude? Can't... Can't... Oh, that could have been a cool shiny. Anyway, uh, let's go to the desert before anything else bad happens. I was looking for an Umbreon, but... Apparently the game just threw a shiny at me. Good lord. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I? Yeah. Wasn't going to, but we might as well. Now, I wonder what. I mean, it's out in the desert, so maybe like ground or steel not exactly sure what the titan's gonna be Whee! that is awfully square looking you can get lucky and get like you know one of the other pokemon is a shiny there's some items Alright, let's head on over before uh, we get too far into this video and we're just still not even over there. Hey, that thing's here too. Alright. Worm is here. Sandaconda's here. Didn't even need to evolve the one that I had. I could have just caught another one. Great, that's good to know. Wait, where are we going? Down here. Set of destination. Oh, here's the phone call. Hey, there's a platform there. <clears throat> hey, Mark. Apparently this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm gonna just sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Yeah, I'm sure that's the only reason. <laughs> Definitely not the fact that he wants me to take it on first. <laughs> is that a Sandy Geist? What is this? It's definitely not shiny, because it would be black if it was. Cool. So I'm guessing I can teleport here now? Yes! Cool, a teleporter in the middle of the desert. That should come in handy. I wouldn't mind getting the worm to be shiny. I, I know it's, uh... And that thing. I want that thing shiny. It's a friggin' Dawn fan. I can see it rolling around in the distance. It's the new one. Oh my god. Well... We get to see a robot today, apparently. <gasps> oh, look 
Okay, Braviary. Uh, I gotta come back and get you later, buddy. Sorry. Hello. Oh. That, that is, that, that's definitely a face. <laughs> Hello, Mark. This is Professor Toro. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess you're a Steel type. Okay, he hit me with Iron Head, so. Holy. Yeah, well, this should take care of it. I friggin' flinched. <laughs> well, if we manage to beat this thing really quick, um, depending on if I keep getting... It killed me. It friggin' killed me. Son of a... It's going to be faster than me again, but... Oh, it's the Croc Pokemon. I still haven't caught that thing yet. I'm going to have to catch that maybe off-screen. At least I know where it is now. Oh. Uh, Alright, just, you know, weren't having a battle or anything. Oops, not box, not box, not box. Bag. Revive. You get so many items. Thanks, Claude Sire. You did great. Wait, what level is this uh, shiny go-go? Maybe we can use that in the video. <laughs> Since we caught it and all. 41. I mean, we might as well. Um, let's take a, this one. Wait, what moves does it know before we, we go any further? Bulldoze. Yeah, this thing can handle it. Let's go. None of these dudes over here were shining, right? And here it goes knocking the wall off. Not a big fan of the face, but I like the the rest of it. Iron Treads began eating something. I wonder why they named them this way. Mark, looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Is that, e <laughs> Is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do. Oh dear. My shiny go goat. Alright. Wait, does this act. Oh, it, it's gonna hit my partner. <laughs> I'm gonna use the skull villain I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This is gonna burn. Well, you might wanna go first, cuz. I'm about to smack you up too. Fire Fang. Burn it. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I can really do. Stop in tantrum. Ow. We're not going to be using Gagoat on the main squad, but it's just nice to be able to use a shiny I caught at the beginning of the episode. It's, it's so random. Dude. I, I've i noticed that me just wandering the world gets me more shinies than just doing mass outbreaks. 
I don't know if I've just had insane luck. I, I would assume so, because my friends are always like, how? <laughs> Every time I get a shiny. So, uh, they're going to be real happy when I let them know I got another one. <laughs> and I, I find a lot of them tend to be the, um, the ones that group up. Like when you see a lot of group Pokemon, those tend to be the ones that... So, hopefully I can get like a Palmy one, that'd be pretty cool. Um, we're gonna swap Pokemon so it doesn't get fainted, so it can get some experience. So, get in here, Cloud Sire, from one shiny to another. <laughs> see under the map. Ow. I should have known. Well, at least it's burnt, so... We should be able to take it out this turn. I'm gonna end up hurting the freaking Scovillain again. Dude, it's, it's already slow. Just hit it with Fire Fang, for the love of God. Sorry, buddy. You have anything else? No, he has no other Pokemon to use for this. I won't. Bulldoze. We did it. Quick throw a Pokeball. Look at his face. He's so happy. Love Claude Sire. Alright, let's see what ability we get. Nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Urpa Mystica it was eating. Let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Mmm. Come out, come out wherever you are. I mean, it's usually in the same spot in every single cave we've went into, so. <laughs> yes, found it. Here's a little herb. Our little herb. You and Arvin found the Sour Herba Mystica. Okay. This shape, this sheen. It looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. <laughs> now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. <laughs> we did it! Here he comes. Here you go, buddy. Chow down. Come on out, Mavistiff. Food's up.
Hopefully this one gets him one step closer. Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. <laughs> Ooh. We'll be able to glide. Ooh, okay, that is gonna be handy. Seems like that fellow is also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. I read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. So, well, don't worry, I'm sure both that brute and Malvastiff will make a full recovery eventually. So, how do you feel, Malvastiff? How's that Herba Mystica working? No pressure. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Mark and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. You've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's, it's gotta be. Alright, Mark. The next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But, we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Yay! Oh. Hello, Mark. This is Toro. I detect that Maraidon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Press the B button when you're in the air and glide. If you press B once more, you'll stop gliding and immediately start falling. You must continue helping Maraidon recover. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I can get used to that. I do not have this Pokemon yet. Wait, my Pokemon didn't sparkle when it came out. Weird. Was it because of the ability? I was hoping for an easy catch. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna kill this thing if I hit it. Damn it, come on. Just be friendly and go in the ball, please. I like how he's just sticking his head out of the sand. Alright, let's try it again. Damn it! Why do you torment me? It would have been funny if Rufflet was like shiny and just standing behind me like that. <laughs> oh god. This thing is not gonna want to go in the ball, is it? All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's just go for it. If I fail, then I'll just get. God damn it! Why are you that slow? 
I know you I know he used that move to slow him down, but seriously. Oh my god, it actually survived. I could have just done that from the beginning. I swear to god if it pops out now. Jeez. Alright. There's that out of the way. Desert Croc Pokemon. And we have to get its evolutions and all that other stuff. And oh my god, please don't. Wait. I saw it in the distance, but... No, it's definitely blue. Have I not caught you before? I don't think I have. I have not. Oh, my back is hurting just sitting here like this. Oh god. I need to... <laughs> I need to get up out of this position. But I can't. Please just stop hitting me already. Oh my god, why? Why are these friggin' sand Pokemon so annoying? Stop hitting me. Stop it. Oh, thank god. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got a shiny, we got the titan out of the way. Oh, I'll call that a good episode. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, enjoyed watching the shiny and the, the titan, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and come on back for more. Uh, in the next episode, uh, I'm gonna figure out, I, I, I'm pretty sure it is the gym leader is the next thing for me to do, but, uh, I'm gonna check and make sure, I don't wanna, don't wanna jump the gun, uh, just in case, but, uh, I'm gonna wander around the desert a little bit, and I'm gonna check that stuff out, see what I can find. And uh, I'll let you guys know. So do all the things, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.